Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be looking at five aero bikes we expect to see in 2018. I know we're obviously almost halfway through this year now, but there are still quite a few bikes that we are waiting to come out. First of all, we've seen some spy shots of a new Venge. So this has um, a little bit more clean look to it, disc brakes, um, which is obviously becoming the more norm now for aero bikes. A little bit more drop stays at the rear as well. Um, so it just looks a lot nicer than um, the old one did, especially. I really didn't like the Vias. This looks a lot better, um, a lot cleaner. The Hanabar area looks a lot simpler. So hopefully you'll be seeing this at the end of the year. Um, probably around the Tour de France time, I'd say it's probably be announced, like with most stuff. That seems to be the most popular area to uh, launch stuff. Number two, the uh, Trek Madone disc. So right at the back of this picture, you'll see a new carbon Madone. On that new carbon Madone, you'll see some disc brakes. So this is something that I wasn't even aware of had been out and about. But this photo is from November. So this is obviously training for the classics and stuff like that. This is when that photo was taken. Um, so it's a long time ago, and I've heard nothing from Trek and nothing. I, I don't work at a Trek dealer, obviously, but I thought I would have heard about this because I do like the Madone. Um, but it looks very similar in its shaping, just as like they've had some disc brakes. I can't find a photo of the front end, because it would be interesting to see what they've done with the front. Obviously, being disc, they won't need those um, brake flaps on the front. So it will be interesting if I can, at some point, find a photo of that front end um, to work out what they've done there. Number three is the Cannondale System 6. We've known about this since February. It's definitely coming. It's been used in some major races. As far as I'm aware, probably going to launch around the Tour de France sort of period, which would be nice. Um, really interesting looking bike. The more I see it, the more uh, the more colours I see of it going to be launched in. I the more it's growing on me, the more I kind of want it. It's by far at the moment probably my favourite aero bike that's due to come out that I've seen. So this would be really useful. It's some like drop stays again. First time that Canada have gone into the aero sort of road bike area. Taken a few sort of design tweaks from like the um, Super Slice, especially. But overall, it looks like it's going to be a nice build. It will be good to get out on one of these at some point and give it a bit of a, a sort of blast. Number four, there is going to be a new S5, which will, as far as I'm aware, be disc only. So this S5 has been around for a fair while now. In this iteration, three ish years before that. Another three years, they didn't change too much, they've made it a bit stiffer, the geometry changed on this model. Um, but the next one will be disc only as far as I am aware. There is also going to be a new S3, but that's not going to be till next year, and that will be rim and disc only. So it will be good to see where we get with this new bike. I haven't seen any shots of a, a disc version even being tested by anyone. So either they are keeping that very, very secret, or there isn't a sort of prototype built yet but it'll more than likely see us around the tour again um, but I would have hoped by now we would have seen some form of spy shots of it. Number five there is a Focus Aero bike coming. Um, it will be very late this year it won't I don't think it'll be out for the tour it'll be very late this year if, indeed it'll be disc only aero frame I don't think it's directly replacing the Ezalco Max but the it will at least run aside of it and then they make make a climbing version. But I've seen no spy shots of this. I've seen no imagery of this. I just have been told that there is one coming. Um, I believe there are some photos somewhere with focus, but not on the web internet yet. So this would be very interesting to see. Very excited for it. Um, again, disc brake only. As with everything, Arrow seems to be going that way now. Um, but yeah. This will be very exciting to see. I think it's the first time Focus have gone into the aero bike range for their road bike stuff. They haven't done a TT bike for two years now. So that will be very interesting to see. But hope you enjoyed this video. Something different than I usually do. Please subscribe, comment, like. And I will catch you guys later on for more content. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.